Welcome to my interactive talk show. Let's pop off. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. We are live from Access Lounge. So thank you for attending and coming to support. And let's pop off. You know what I'm saying? You ready to pop off? I'd like to introduce you guys to my co-host. Clap it up for Made in Philly. What's going yeah. on? What's going on? How y'all doing? Yeah. Clap it up for Bugatti Black. Come on. Clap it up for Big Wheel. Talk to me. Talk to me. And clap it up for the Content Connect, the online connect. My girl Taylor Moon. Yeah, yeah. All right, so the way this works is we're going to talk about things, and you guys are going to be interactive. My girl Yana's in the crowd. D-Nice is in the crowd. And we're going to be asking you to pop off. And that's what you do, right? Pop off. All right, so let's get the goings going on. The way that we start this show every week is, you know what I just realized? Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll go first. <laughs> I'm in deep trouble, y'all. Well, first I said, hey, you know what I just realized? Uh -huh. I'm in deep trouble, y'all. I saw online that now they're saying that BBLs are not in style anymore. What? They're not trending. What? Wow. Now what's in style are the little booty matters, not the BBLs. <laughs> and people are thinking about Deleting their PBLs. I don't know how you do that. Deleting. Like deleting their shots. I don't know how you do that. But the reason why I say I'm in trouble is because, no, I don't have a BBL. I have a big booty, but I inherited it from my Haitian grandmama. Okay, okay. So the fact that my booty is not an operation and it's real, but it's no longer trending, what do I do? I'm in wow. trouble. Yeah, what do you do? I don't know. What They're not trending big booties made in Philly. <laughs> what are we going to do? The girls with the big booties. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Is that Bugatti, what did you just realize? You know what I just realized? That baby daddies will always be with their baby mamas, no matter how long, how far, and how wide. They always go back once in a while. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. wait. Are, are you talking from personal experience? I'm personal experience as well as just being an observant individual. <laughs> they love their baby mamas. I'm so sorry. It is what it is. You've doubled back once or twice. I don't care if it was 10 years ago or recent. You have spent the block with your baby daddy. So it is what it is. Hmm, I don't know about that, but I'm not a baby mama, so I wouldn't Dang, know. So I'm going to take your word for it. <laughs> Made in Philly. What did you just realize? You know what I just realized? Like, I think Diddy really bought in bulk because, like, the reason he has so many baby oils is because he buys in bulk, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, we should, like when we go to Costco's and Sam Club, we should all buy in bulk. Yeah. I do. Paper towels and toilet paper, paper towels. Not baby oil. He like. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Taylor, what did you just realize, mama? <laughs> I just realized that they don't make clothes for big booty girls because what fit the bottom don't be fit in the top because uh -oh. the booty is an extra large, but the top is a schmedium. And now I'm out here looking crazy because I'm swallowing on the top and I'm squeezing in the bottom. And that's unfair to me. Can you I like stand that. Up? Trust can you me, stand up one time so we can see? I, 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 yeah, we got to see. Yeah, can you yeah. stand up? Let him see it. Let him see. Let him see. See, I'm yeah. squeezing okay. in the bottom, but I'm little on the top. Somebody be eating that yucca, boy. I eat my rice and cabbage, you heard? <laughs> but I like that problem, you know, because I hate from that <laughs> No, I hate going to the cleanest. I'm medium on top, but... I hate going to the cleanest. It's always a $15 take-in fee, and I don't got that many $15 to be given to Ling Ling. I don't got it. We feel your pain. <laughs> Big Will, what did you just realize? You know, we lost another TV dad, and I just realized we don't have no TV dads now for... People to look up to and really like, you know, be a dad to people who ain't got dads and, you know, be that father figure that we need. Now, we we missing that. It's a big void. Like, we lost Uncle Phil a while back. Now we lost John Amos. And we ain't known personally, but just the role he played. As you get older, you realize the importance he had on people's lives and the importance he, you know, he had on the show. Even when he left the show, you realize he left the show because he didn't like the direction it was going. He left it because it wasn't showing us in a good light. Like, wait, I thought he died in the, the show. No, 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 no. He, yeah, that's, they, they killed they, him. They, they killed him off. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, they killed him off. But 
You know, we need to get TV dads. We need yeah. to start doing something with programming where they have to start showing, you know, us in a better light. You know what I mean? I know, that's right. And with what you said, I just got to say one thing. Talk to me. Damn. 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 James. <laughs> James. Yeah, R.I.P. John Amos. Yeah. For real. All right, so clap it up. That was, you know what I just realized? All right, y'all. So now we're going moving on to let's talk about it. This is where you get to pop off. You get to say your mind and all that good stuff. So remember watching BET, the music video shows, 106 in Park, BET Uncut at night when you were staying up late? That was the go-to channel, right? But now streaming platforms, a.k.a. Zeus, has Jocelyn's Cabaret, Baddest, the whole franchise of every part of the United States and abroad, mm -hmm. the islands. Bobby, I love you, purr. I love my boy Bobby Light, shout to him. And the list goes on. So has BET lost its juice? Mm. Like Zeus is beating, are they the new powerhouse, Ratchet versus Tyler Perry programming? Come on now. Are we watching BET? Are we watching Zeus? What are we watching, guys? Taylor, why don't you pop off first? Well, I'm watching Zeus. <laughs> I'm sorry. They get in my $4.99 a month. <laughs> Tyler Perry Studios, a.k.a. BET, is not doing it for me no, no more. It's literally the whole lineup. House of Pain, Sisters, Sativa, How to Get My Man Back, How to Get Away With This, Lost in the... I'm tired of the black women's struggle. I want to see somebody pull somebody's lace front off. <laughs> like... I want to decompress with Ratchet TV. We like, damn, she lumped her up. I'm not getting that with BET. I'm not getting no more The Music Countdown. I'm not getting no more Big Tigger in the Basement. I'm not getting Free and AJ. I'm not even getting College Hill. Like, the madness, they need to step it up. So they need to take those execs and put them in the old folks' home and <laughs> revamp the, the studio because mm. they didn't give them what's supposed to give. Taylor said what she said. What do you feel, Big Will? You watching I'm, Zeus or BET? Um, neither. <laughs> ain't nothing on Zeus for me. I'm, a, I'm like, I'm not watching this. Like, you better watch that cabaret. I'm like, Ehh. you I'm, didn't watch. I love Bobby. Br I mean, Bobby Brown. I love <laughs> you, Bobby Purr. <laughs> Cameraman, look at my face. Nah, not happening at all. Not even. Nah. NFL Network, ESPN, more stuff like that. But BET, I get it. We grew up with BET. We're not really about to go. If they put the programming back, are we really going to go watch a uh, big Tigger show if they put something similar out right now? I don't think we, at our age, but well, for me, I'm not going to watch it like that. You know what I mean? But I get it. And Zeus is offering the ratchet stuff, you know, and people love the fighting and the hair pulling and the, I mean, it's cool, but it's not for me. It's not my vibe. Philly, you watching Zeus or he be BT kicking it with them. neither? He be in the street. He be in the streets with us half the cast. <laughs> so Batty. So, so probably right now, I'm probably watching Zeus because I had like a, a, a mutual friend on there. Mm -hmm. So now I'm watching it and that kind of like got me into it. Like, you know, the different episodes or whatever. Of which show? Um, Bad Boys Club. No, no, not no. Prince was on Bad Boys Club. Yeah, Prince was on Bad Boys. So I, I, I watched it like to support him. And, mm -hmm. you know, I end up seeing like. Oh, yeah. Shouts to Prince. Yeah, shout out to Prince. Mm -hmm. uh, but like the other episodes, they, it, and it keeps you entertained. Like someone's fighting who or. This girl got her teeth knocked out. So it's just like, <laughs> it's just like, it's just keep you entertained, really. But that's, so I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching Zeus probably too, right now. And Bugatti, you're a mom of boys. You're I a am. boy mom. I am. Are they watching Zeus or, or BT? Absolutely not. <laughs> what about BT? My, my youngest tries to watch Zeus. He's a little, he's, he's a little, I don't even want to go there. He's a little bit more sexually. I, I, I'm just scared for my six-year-old. It's, it's too much going on with YouTube and Zeus and all that stuff. But I am watching Zeus simply because of its ratchetness, really, honestly. It keep, like you said, it keeps you entertained. But I want to kind of go back to what Taylor said, and she spoke about how BET is more so about black women struggling. Well, what is Zeus doing to black women? Because right. it's really not uplifting at all. It doesn't really put women in a good light. And what I've seen from Baddies, um, the auditions from Baddies um, Detroit, or which is Midwest rather, and Baddies Gone Wild, they willing to sell their soul. They willing to do anything to, to be cloud. on yeah. TV, yeah. and get... it's and Natalie Nunn is. I don't even know if I should say. Can I say her name? I'm sorry. I don't, okay, she is the the leader of the pack where she is able to tell them do anything. I'm talking about do give me fifty jumper jacks. 
Show your tits. Make out with the girl next to you. Stand on business and not fight somebody. You don't even know these people, but you willing to lose your teeth, get your lace pulled off, simply to get a spot on Zeus, it's not worth it. But it's I feel like it's it. a difference because when we have these programs on BET, they are actors and they're portraying an image. When you're on a reality TV show, you're doing it because you want to be there. Nobody's holding the pew pew to your head and saying, you must act like this or you must be the... This is who these girls are really are. And in a weird, twisted way, they're giving them a platform. A lot of them who are not currently on these shows or were or, or been on three and four seasons have made names and businesses for themselves in this weird, twisted way. All right, who's popping off? So uh, um, the worst part, of what we were talking about growing up, I mean, we loved that ever. We had Yo! MTV Raps. We had, you know, Big Tigger in the Basement. But we even had Different World, Cosby Show and all that. But the worst part of all these reality shows is the kids. I'm a mother of a 16-year-old daughter, and they love this stuff. And it's sad to the point where recently she had a bunch of friends over, and my mouth dropped when I asked these type of questions. I want to know who she's hanging up. So what you want to be? And, you know, because they're in 11th grade. So um, what do you want to do? And because of the show Basketball Wives, one of her friends are like, I just want to be an NBA wife when I grow up. Like, this is what they're saying. They're, they have no goals. They, they're watching this trash TV. I call it trash. It's entertaining for us, but we're adults and we know reality. But these kids, they, they, this is what they look up to. They're like, okay, I'm just going to, you know, I want to be Krishan Rock. I'm going to be like fight all the time and get on one of these shows and, and be rich. And that's what they're thinking that is positive and yeah. is sad. Yeah. <laughs> it's really sad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just want to say one thing. I just want to say one thing. The mic. Hold on. That I just want to say one thing. I do agree with her. But... Being a basketball wife is the goal. <laughs> Sorry. Ain't nobody trying to be out here having a hard life. Everybody want to live a soft life. So being with a basketball player, you will live very softly. <laughs> Minus the cheating and the womanizing. And the no, that American that. Express will take all that away. <laughs> no cussing. OK. No cursing. <laughs> My bad. Take boy, all the pool away. It's tough out here, boy. Oh, Lord. All right, so that was Let's Talk About It. Clap it up for the, for the crew that popped off. All right, so the next se um, segment is Survey Says What? All right, so the last episode of Let's Pop Off, Bugatti Black, our very own, and DJ Shorty Doo-Wop, they revealed that they regret their divorces. Okay. So a survey says that about 40 to 50% of couples get back together after a breakup and that it takes an average of five months for an ex to come back after a breakup. So breakups to makeups is the syndrome, right? So you down with leaving and going back and have you ever broken up with someone and went back? That is the question. Ooh. I'm going to Philly first. I want to know Philly. <laughs> Philly when you break up. Philly. Usually, who breaks up? Have you ever been broken up? Like, has anyone broken up with you, or you usually do the breaking up? Um, I'm, they usually break up with me. <laughs> they usually break up with they you? They usually break they up with me. They get sick of you, Philly. They get sick All right. of me. <laughs> At least you admit it. I'm toxic. I'm just, <laughs> uh, you know. But, um, we'll help you during this show. We're gonna help you and give you help. therapy. We're gonna give help. you therapy. But um, so have you ever gone back to someone that you know you guys broke up? Um, yeah, I, actually on the way here, I was texting her back. No, no, but, um. That's why you took long to get here. <laughs> no, but I, I think after a while, you just like, you just used to someone and it is like, you know, you might've missed some things, but it's like, do I still want to put up with this? So like, I think you give it like two, three months and you know, you might want them back. And then it's like, I'm just going to go to the club tonight and to see, oh and to see what I can catch in here, you know, you know, but. Do you find that when. You break up when she breaks up with you, and then you give her a few months to break, to cool down, and then you call her back. Does she open the door at, like at three in the morning when you're leaving the club? That's when you call her to go back. Yeah, like, like three in the morning, you know, pretty, pretty much. much. <laughs> or, you know, yeah. or you just, open the just send some flowers to her mom house, or you know, just do, you know, all the just, all the sensitive guy just, things. Right? <laughs> just be outside of her job. <laughs> That's why, that's why with, with a boom box <laughs> saying you love her, right? Yeah, no. All right, Bugatti, what's the word? Um, so last week you admitted yeah, that you sure. regretted your divorce. For sure. Um, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, we tried we we doubled that mm -hmm. um during the divorce, like when we were actively in the divorce. But um 
it you need somebody that's gonna fight back, right? It's really difficult to fight for a relationship in a ring and you're the only one that's throwing, you know, that's fighting for whatever it is that you guys are trying to hold on to. And in my situation, it just wasn't being reciprocated. As much as I wanted it to be, um, it wasn't there. So I, I, I even got pregnant again. Like, it was crazy. And I ended up having to be pro-choice. <laughs> and we could talk about that on another show. But um, um, definitely, because it just didn't make sense, right? It was like, why would we bring another life into, you know, this situation? And we don't even know wh what we're doing. And so it ended up, we ended up in divorce court. But when I told you guys last week, I, I wish I would have done more. It was because the reason why we broke up was because I allowed other people to influence my decision instead of me using my own, you know, good sense and intuition to make those decisions. And if I would have done that, then I probably would have had a better handle on it, but I didn't. And so that's how we ended up in that situation. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Definitely. Is anybody saying anything online? What's up, Taylor? Yes, they are. Miss Tantiana for Infinity says, yes, I got back with my boyfriend. I got back with my husband, sorry, who was my boyfriend with no contact for 10 years. And now we've been together 15 and we're married. Wow. So oh, I told her, oh. you got your man, girl. <laughs> wow. See, so there may be hope for me. I'm it's like, like one out of 80. You know? <laughs> like, I might be able to go back to but my I feel like it's degrees to spin in a block. Like, are you spinning the block to be with me, be with me? Or are you spinning the block to have fun? Because if you're just trying to hit, then boy, bye. But if you spin the block to be like, I, yo, like, girl, you know, I messed up. I, I'm going to be a better man. And you are a better man. Then come on. But no. Once we break, we are breaking up forever. There is no coming back. We don't do U-turns over here. Mm -mm. Mm. Sorry. Well... Are you are you breaking up or is she breaking up with you? And is there a comeback? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> my childish days. If I didn't like her, I make her break up with me. I do some stupid stuff so she can break up. I'm you not good at break, break up. I'm not good at breakups because it's like, ugh, <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> but I don't want to be mean because I got to. I don't know how to be mean to women. It's it's hard. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna just be an ass, and, and then she break up with me. I'm free. Like, all right, bye. See you later. <laughs> I mean, breakups, I don't do the break stuff. It's like, either we break up or we don't. It's like, what are we taking a break for? Like, to think about what? We can just fix it now. If not, talk to you later. I mean, and usually, if we get back, it's usually just a fool around. It's more of, okay, we're just going to vibe now. Now now you gave me freedom. I go back inside. Like, I'm free. I can go outside with my friends. I could be a 304. That's the word you told me to use. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then to go back inside, mm -mm. Yeah, mm -mm. we ain't doing that. We're We're locked dope. down again. All right? <laughs> now you back looking out the window like, oh, Lord, everybody having fun, huh? Sheesh. <laughs> Hear me? Mm -mm. Mm, so, let's see what the audience has to say. Who's going to pop off? Uh oh. Oh, Pilly May popping off. Hey, Pilly. Hey, y'all. Oh, okay. Um, I just have like a theory when it comes to relationships. Like, if you throw something in the trash, do you go back in the trash to pick it out to reuse it again? No, we don't. So, like, if you have an ex and it didn't work out the first time, you got to pay attention to like what caused y'all to go y'all separate ways and stand on that. You don't go back in the trash to get the trash out and use it again. So once you throw it away, let it stay there and find somebody new and just like fall back in love with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like if you gotta be alone for a little while, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll find somebody better, somebody more compatible and don't go back to your ex. What about the fact Yeah, he definitely old. broke up with you. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Sorry. Because she came hard, did she? What about the fast second rule? Like, God made dirt, dirt don't hurt. Put it in your mouth, let it work. What happened to that? <laughs> if y'all want to eat dirt, then be my guest. But I'm getting some new, like, something new. I'm not going back in the trash. I feel so, sure. yeah. Not going back That's my theory. You okay. know what? To me, it's like, it depends on the situation. And usually... I've only been broken up with one time. Like, I'm usually the one who dumps whoever I'm with. But the one time that I was broken up with absolutely devastated me. So, and we fooled around after that numerous times. <laughs> but it was because I, he caught me cheating. I was a cheater and he caught me. And then I just, like, felt so guilty about cheating. So when he got unangry and missed me and he called me back, 
I started fooling around with him again, but I realized he was just bringing me back as payback because he would be so mean and nasty to me. But I didn't care at the time. I'm like, I miss you. Take me back. <laughs> so, they but, said Haitians don't cheat. I was no. Me? That was my Dominican cheat. side. I'm going to say Dominicans do. Yeah, the Dominican side. <laughs> Dominicans, Dominicans do. do. But I, just need to, you, you, I just need to put this on blast real quick. That you just held yourself accountable. Yeah. You I, never I hear black women hold themselves accountable for anything. So Cheers shout out to, to a black woman for holding herself Cheers accountable. To shout Cheers to the you. cheaters. You know? <laughs> yeah, ain't no going no, back after that. You cheated? They said that about last week, even for you, Shari Duwap. They said, why, why do you guys didn't spend enough time talking about how women hold themselves accountable for the stuff that they do wrong in relationships? Yeah. So shout out to you for admitting that. I admit, when I do something wrong, I admit it. I'm not ashamed. I'm not a robot. I'm human. For sure. So, like, when I messed up, I know I messed up, and I'll say it. I messed up. Yeah. But at the same time, like, 99.9% .9 of the time, just the guy's messing up with me. So, mm -hmm. it don't be me. I'm perfect. No, I'm no. Don't take him back, fellas. Don't take him back, fellas. Hey, listen. Before you take him back, just remember he had her moaning. Mm. Just remember that. Like, he had her going, mm. Don't take him back. If she cheat, don't take him back. So, you let's go to the audience. You, been with? audience. you said what? You cheated on every guy you've been with? Or just... Um, let's go to the audience. And... <laughs> She's like, no answer. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't cheat with every guy. That oh, I've been with. shots fired. Uh, no, I don't. Um, audience? <laughs> um, I think I could agree with a lot of you, um, but I think a lot of it is self acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. So, say, for example, if I break with somebody and I realize that maybe I was an immature one, you know what I'm saying? And it took me about maybe a year or two to realize, like, yeah, I was tripping back in the days. I'll end up fighting for that back. You know mm. what I'm saying? But um, it all depends on the situation. I, that's what I that's what I think. Uh -huh. So sometimes you got to go into that trash can and just say, hey, man, I got a double back on. Come on, I man. I, <laughs> I, agree. Yeah. I agree with that. That's no, what I got to say. Take me out the trash. <laughs> I'm in mean, acting brand new. So, <laughs> if she available. If she available to come back. You know? Bring yeah, because she might be gone. I've like, been Ooh. acting brand new. Team light like skin. <laughs> I agree with that. Crying in the I house. I love that. I love that when a man says that he'll go back and fight. Because you don't hear too many men talk about wanting we, to fight for their love. We do. Yeah. We do. They, guys fight for their love. We don't really hear but about But they have their different ways of doing it. Right. They're not going to do it like the average person no. in the way we would. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Right. I because, like, when I want someone back, I don't, I'm not ashamed. I want you back. Like, me when too, I wanted Sandy. my man back after he dumped me, I was like, I want you back. I don't care who sees me cry in the club. <laughs> I want you back. Yeah, no, yeah, no. But I would never do that again. I'm more immature now, and I don't care. Oh. All right, pop off. Wait, she'll hold the mic for you. Well, I think it's kind of to piggyback off what he was saying, it matters the situation. So at first, I was very, like, rosy and like, no, uh-uh, once I'm done, I'm done. But I think it matters what the breakup was. And, like, I think everybody have an 80-20 rule. And according to what it was, if it was a, you know, kind of like a respectful breakup, like, listen, I'm not ready for you now. And, you know, I think that that's, I respect you better to say that you're not ready. That way, when you do come back, you better be ready. But right. I think you got to put a limit mm. on everything and set boundaries. So Absolutely. if it's a revolving door, then I think you'll never be taken serious. Yeah. Can you break down the 80-20 rule? What's that? You well, said there's 80%, like an 80-20. 80% of what you will deal with, what you will tolerate, and then 20% of what you just won't tolerate. It's like, no. okay, I, I like this about you or that, like, I can't date a guy. I have, like, you know, bad breath or, like, some things <laughs> that's just, that's some just non negotiable. I just can't deal no. with that. That means you got to deal with your hygiene or something. So there's an 80-20. I won't be with someone that, you know, is abusive. That's my uh-uh, 20. Like, nope. Oh, all yeah. bets off. I don't care how nice you are. You got all this going on, but that's that. So you, you know, you have boundaries and you have some things that you just won't tolerate. Don't bring no baby home or, you know, certain things you just say, I won't do that. But, you know, he made me cry, but I took him back. You know, certain things. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's how you, I feel about it. I have a shameful story real quick. Uh oh. When I was in college, my boyfriend, literally, I dated him for many years, but it was really on and off. But... I hope he's watching. I don't know if he's watching. <laughs> Look in the camera. Look at the camera. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. But when we were together, he had a baby on me. Oh. oh. 
He had me at a girl's house about to whoop her ass. Oh, okay. Oh. In the process of almost whooping her butt, I crashed my cousin's car trying to escape because oh, I was oh. I got nervous. Wow. And she had just bought the car like three days earlier. Oh, my God. oh. like honestly, I went through so much with this guy, my, like my first boyfriend when I was in college, that it's like that made my Scorpio shell even harder. Like that's what made me so ruthless when I started dating. In my real life, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. After yeah. him, I was like, "Oh, work. That's how it works." Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. <laughs> so it's kind of tough, like when you and I kept going back to him. So, Let me, but I learned my lesson now. But can, can I ask the fellas a question? Let me ask the fellas. Have y'all ever had when y'all messed up and y'all knew y'all messed it up and it hurt your heart? Let me see. We gonna tell the truth. Have we ever had our, like we broke our own heart by messing something a good thing up, fellas? Fellas, fellas, because you know women admit it. Raise your hand, but fellas, fellas okay. never really talk about like. We messed it up for real. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, yeah, we broke. We, nah, damn, that could have been wifey right there. Like, she was really wifey. We was just, we were playing. Like, mm. I'll play. I'm sorry. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Philly, did you cry in the shower? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the one that got away. The one that got yeah, there's away. There's always one that gets did away. Did you try to fight and get her back? Yeah, that's the real question. That's the I question. Think really have you quick. ever tried to get that one back? I think the one thing really hurts is like when you play with somebody and then you see them with another person. That's what really, mm. that's what really like, like damn, like what you say to yourself. He ain't even cute to me. He ain't even fly to me. You know what I mean? Like you look at him like we'll beat him up. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I, I just it, 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 honestly, it really hurts when you see somebody that you play with and took for granted and with like with like another person. You know, mm -hmm. especially like. You know, you're going to the same club, you know, and Woo. you know, it's, that's Love it. or or and not even a club. It's anywhere. It could be church. It could be the mall, or just anywhere. And you know, you just you took them for granted because you wasn't ready, or you was yeah. still messing around, or you know. But yeah, I'm gonna tell you a little secret. See the hurt on his face. He's still when she when she no listen. Check this out. A secret. When she sees you from a distance and she's with her new man, she's going to look so happy, but she's probably missing you like hell. Oh, That's not true. That's not true. That's true. Uh-uh. It probably happened to true. me. It happened to me. Let's be tell a personal story. It happened to true. me. I was in an ice cream shop back at home, and I was with my man, who's now my husband. And we did. We got to order ice cream. We cute. Oh, I love you. Love. And at my peripheral vision, I see this guy who I swore was going to be my man who made me cry on a date. Like, it was the worst date of my life. Like, horrible to me. And I see him with his new girl, and she was built like a bag of socks. Damn. So we connected eyes, and I'm looking at him like, yeah, I know you see me seeing you with my man. And then he was looking like he's about to slide down the wall. And then the, the amazing man that I have, he was like, that. I told him, I was like, that's the guy that made me cry on a date. He's like, let me get my one up. You want to pay for him his, his shorty ice cream? I said, H-E double hockey sticks, no. Let him see me happy, flourishing with my man. And that's what I was. And I walked off with my man, and now he's my husband. Hmm. Okay. Happy story, oh, happy okay. story. <laughs> Such yeah. a one in a million. Anybody, <laughs> anybody online chiming in, Taylor? Yes. Okay. So, Miss Tatiana for Affinity chimes in again, and she said that not going in the trash, piggybacking off her, that only applies if your dating category is trash. So if it's giving dumps the fire, you don't go in there. That's mm. fire. But if you got something that's, you know, like if you dropped your phone in the trash, you're like, you going to pick it up. You're going to pick the iPhone. <laughs> you going to pick the iPhone up. I'm going to get that phone. You feel me? All right. So clap it up. That was a survey whoop, whoop. says woo. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right. Now it's time. We've started a new feature on the show, guys. Now you can go to our IG page at Let's Pop Off. And you can go in the DMs, and whatever question you want us to ask, you can ask it in the DMs, because you know it goes down there, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what we received in the Let's Pop Off IG DMs. We received a DM on the Let's Pop Off IG that asked, they asked to remain um, anonymous. They didn't want to say their name. They didn't want me to say their name. But they asked, why do women wait until it's too late to realize that they had a good man? Mm. Dun, 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 dun. So, Will, I'll go to you first. I'm just saying, you know, she put you in a little friend zone. She put you over here. She like you, but she, I like she don't like you. All right, cool. You all like me. All right. But then she see you over here vibe. Now, here she go texting. Why you texting though? 
Like you had, I was here. You was, we were vibing. Oh, you my friend. All right, cool. I'm over here. Now she like me. Don't like me now. You should have liked me when I was over here. Like, you know what I mean? Like, for real, like, why even play the game? Like, if you like me and I like you, why we waste some time? Mm. You wait till I'm talking over here. Now you want to, you know, I thought we was going to, no, 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 no. It's too late now. It's gone. I, you know, I'll be calling back later, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever heard the saying, mm. nobody wants what nobody wants? Uh -huh. So when you're single, right? Mm. You mad single. Like, you ever notice that when you're single, you're really single? And as soon as you meet someone that you, actually really like, and you're like, damn, I really like him. People start coming out the woodwork, hollering at you, calling your phone again. You're like, why? I was single for months and nobody called me. So it's like, like the energy just floats around in the air. Nobody wants what nobody wants. As soon as someone wants you, you look so good. Mm. That That's that what works? I think about. Is that how that works? <laughs> but but, but you, he, this person asked, why do women don't realize but men do it all the time, too. Men do not realize what they have until she's like, you know what? When a woman's fed up, there's nothing you can do about it. I'm out. That's when you guys really think she's beautiful, want to treat her right, and everything else. But that's when you're in the relationship. You know, that's different. That's when we're in the relationship, we're messing up. But this is like, we starting off, and you really like, you like me for real. I see it. I can tell. But you, now nah, you my friend. I think, okay, cool. You my friend. I, I respect that. <laughs> cool. She ain't say that. She said she like me. We vibing. What you texting me for now? The video. I seen the video, right? She was in the corner. She eyeing him. Now she want to walk over, kiss him on the cheek, rub his shoulder. You wasn't doing that last week. Now you my friend. Now you want to, I, I like you. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I'm with the new shorty. Just, just vibe. You know what I mean? Wait your turn. Wait till the double back. Bugatti, have you ever been in a situation where either a man didn't realize how amazing you are until after the fact when you no longer want him or vice versa. You didn't realize the guy was so great until he wasn't yours. I know the divorce thing, you kind of said it a little bit, so they I guess the that's... Divorce. It happened every... <laughs> they happen every day, B. <laughs> they fumble the bag every day, B. I don't know what's going on nowadays, but um, yeah, I have been in a situation where I did not realize what I had until it was with somebody else. Mm. And only because, honestly, and I just was thinking about it like when you were talking, mm. it's because he was doing things with her that he didn't do with me. Oh. And so it was kind of like, well, y'all out like, oh, so now you know how to date. Now you know, now you know how to do X, Y, Z, A, B, C. Well, how come, you know, when you were talking about how much you like me, you weren't doing A, B, C, and X, Y, Z. Now all of a sudden you want to show off and you want to be all up in the videos. You know, <laughs> you know, dancing all up on the shows and stuff and, and showing out. But when it was me, it was kind of like, you know, you want to be chill. So, yeah, I kind of called them out on that. Like, how, mm -hmm. how is that possible when we were just doing our thing? And, yeah. And it wasn't that I didn't realize you was a good man. I realized you were a good man. But you were kind of like keeping me on the back burner. Mm -hmm. And then you got out and you popped off with another chick. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll slash the tires. <laughs> I'm not the tires. That's when you start wishing, like... I hope every time you plug your phone and the cord don't work. I hope yeah. every time you look at an envelope, you get a paper cut on your tongue. Yeah. I hope every time you get sit on the toilet, the seat is warm. Yeah. You start wishing What's bad inconveniences on it. Every time you go to the yeah, bathroom, right? ain't no toilet paper. I found, wow. out, I found out that the she girl crazy. that he likes, she texts like this. <laughs> See? Mm. Stupid. So, mm. who's Gotta the hold loser? the phone close, all <laughs> raggedy pizza. Mm. So, Taylor, what are they saying online? They are saying online, doubling back to our last conversation. Again, Miss Tantiana is saying Love that Tatiana. she's so glad that she got rid of her divorce in the middle and she found her real king, aka her new husband. Okay. See, sometimes you gotta. Sweep sometimes them up you gotta to, go around the block. Sometimes you gotta it. sweep the old to get the new. You mm. got to go. And mm. yeah, King can be anywhere. He may be yeah. have he married. Like I said last week, he may be marinating just for you. I swept right. up under my dresser the other day and found twenty dollars. See, <laughs> you, you never, never know. know what's in the dust. <laughs> <laughs> Treasures be everywhere. Okay. okay. All right, we got somebody who wants to pop off. Let's go. Okay, so I think that sometimes we self sabotage mm. because of past relationships, past trauma that we haven't even come to terms with. Mm -hmm. So when we do come across a good man, we're kind of skeptical. We don't really know if that's really, really a good man or if we should have our guard up. So right. I think it's more so self-sabotaging. That's 
good. That's mm-hmm. true. Like, we will self-sabotage yeah. because we think it's a mirage, right? Mm-hmm. Like how you in the desert, you know, and you mm-hmm. think you see water. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. you've, been, you've been out there so long in the desert, you don't mm-hmm. even know. It's really a puddle of water there to quench your thirst. Mm-hmm. And you're thinking like, oh, my God, I don't even know if this is real. So you go around it because you think it's a trick. Whole time, you missing out on your blessing. You feel me? You never know. All those unofficial boyfriends y'all got, you know the one y'all talk to every day? Text all that's the unofficial boy. He do everything like a boyfriend, but ain't the boyfriend. Come on, that's what I call unofficial. You don't have an unofficial boyfriend no. that you call in the morning, talk to all day, all night. He know your kids. That you like, it's like he's like your man, but he ain't your man. I don't even want to fool you like that. You know what? I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm a little a too. Of, uh, it's your younger. The younger people probably know more so about that. I think I'm a little too old to have an unofficial boyfriend. Unofficial boyfriend. I have a, a person that I use as a handyman. I don't wow. know if that's over <laughs> you. Can you come adjust my ring camera? Can wow. you? <laughs> my AC's not working. My yeah. water heater. Eh, help me. Wow. me. I'm just but a girl. He, you know, he's just a good guy, and he really helps me. Does he ask for anything in return? Like a date? Does he ask to you buy know, lunch? You know, I make sure I dress like a grandma when he comes around. Wow. Not the woo I'm not trying to turn nobody on. Just please, get wow. this to work in and let's keep the going. You don't even on. give him a sandwich, a cold bottle, or a water? Oh, no, I give him... A, of course I do that. Okay. I'm, a, I'm Dominican Haitian. I'm very hospitable, but I'm not like... I ain't trying to turn nobody on right now. Leave me alone. <laughs> let's yeah. pop up in the audience. Let's go. Um, I just wanted to piggyback off what she said, and the self-sabotage thing is real, because when I say this, there's going to be a lot of dudes that are going to agree with it. I've always said, I don't want to be somebody's first good man, because mm. when you somebody's first good man, oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> you got to go through so much, and you can't go to work because it's going to be a text, oh, 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 why you did this? Why you did that? Because I was at work. Why didn't you respond? I was at work. Oh, that's what my last man said. Uh, he was a piece of... <laughs> right. I'm at work. <laughs> what you want from me? It's so much that you got to go through. So the self sabotage thing is real, but also you got to understand that sometimes energies connect. And if you're not with that person that you're connecting with, it don't matter what y'all do, y'all just not going to vibe. Right. Yeah. And when you see that person with somebody else, they may have connected and now they're out there having a good time. Like you say, you and your, hu- you and your uh, husband was at the ice cream shop. Y'all was loving it, having a good time. Mm-hmm. It probably killed your ex-boyfriend because he seemed like, oh, man, mm-hmm. we never did this. We never go to the ice cream shop. Yeah. But you and your husband, y'all connect, y'all vibe, y'all had a good yeah. time. Some people might think ice cream shop, it don't matter because that's y'all vibe and y'all connected. Mm-hmm. So what somebody else is looking at, like, oh, my God, they, they connecting and vibing. You just ain't had that opportunity with them. I mean, y'all, y'all might not have just connected. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if he was your first man, chill out a little bit. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 She broke up with him. Kelly, so. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, wait, wait. No. Don't say that. About Turn that back on. <laughs> <laughs> no, Talk to me, Talk to him. <laughs> Look at me. Okay. Period. No, you're right. I agree you with you. Okay. I agree with you. <laughs> he said you see the material. See Don't it? play with him. No, Materials are serious. All right. Okay. So, Philly, what are you talking about before you... Oh, wait, wait. He's saying something. Pause. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. He's, he's like, no diddy. You, he's like, no diddy. No diddy. He's like, you see me. Okay, pause. <laughs> All right. So, Philly, what are you talking about this topic? What do you think? Um, I think everybody should just like live their life, you know, and, <laughs> and if you find your person, you just find your person. Like, you know, it's just... I think my, just being in Miami is very a hard place to date. But if you find your person, you know, they, they there. And you might have to swing the block or you might have to go or, you know. But mm-hmm. I think, you know, we on borrow time right now. So, you know, I think you should just like everybody should live their life. You know, if your daughter want to be a, a, a NBA, you know, just be there and support her, you know. <laughs> like, <and> support it. <laughs> I'm going to be in the suite with man. (laughs) All right, you want to pop off? Stand up, please. I think the thing is, as far as the original question was why women do it, but me personally in my um, situations, I have been in relationships where when I would get with the guy that may not be the popular guy or, you know, the guy that everybody wants, but then once I get with him, 
then everybody else want them. So I think mm-hmm. it's kind of like the me too. With women. Like, <laughs> everybody women wants want who I what want. I want. <laughs> like women want what they can't have. So now that they see, like, damn, that she gave him a chance. Like, well, what is it about him? And you know, I've actually had guys that actually told me that. You know, that happened. It's like, yeah, and I ain't gonna lie, I hit just because you know <laughs> she didn't want to give me none back then. Oh. But I think it's. That thing with women sometimes is like they want what they can't have. Like now he looked different because his girl looked this yeah, good yeah. or his girl got that going on. on. Now he's attractive yeah. to you yeah. when it's like yeah. before you thought he was a duck or you thought he was green, but now somebody appreciate him and you feeling some type of way. Now you want to text, hey. You feel me? Oh, oh yeah. She done dressed yeah. him up, put the nice little clothes on him. What did Beyonce say? Let me upgrade you. Okay. Come on. <laughs> yeah. What are you saying, Philly? You're saying- Oh, I thought you were gonna say I had a girlfriend who did that. A friend of mine's back at home. That this guy we used to hang out with. He was like a a party promoter, but he was horny, like mad corny. But he would always hook it up, so we you know we kept him close. One summer, he came back brand new. It was like, uh, have you ever seen Seventeen again with T and Tamara? And they just got. He came back fine. He was dripped out and draped out. I was like. Oh, okay. This was after you. the pandemic, or this was this was definitely after the pandemic <laughs> too. The pandemic, buddy. This is oh, after the pandemic, but like pandemic. his swag got. A, I don't know if he had a PPP PPP loan or something. PPP, pandemic. but he just came. Haircut pandemic was official, boy, swag, everything. And my homegirl had who had been dissing him, dissing him. And he tried to go on dates. He used to buy her stuff and everything. Who had been playing him dirt? All of a sudden, tells her, "Oh yeah, let's hang out with him." I said, "Didn't you just say he was a cornball?" She's like, "Yeah, but like now he's cute. So if he's corny, I'll just close my eyes and then I just put it on this." I was like, "You this are pathetic." The and yeah. then they ended up smashing, Come and because he found his swag, he was like, "Yeah, smash." Because back then she didn't want me. Now I'm hot. She you all on me. me. And don't and, be mad. And she felt mad about it. And I said. Like, don't he, be mad. You just mad because he he beat you to the game first. Come on. Mm. It's the principle in this. Yeah. If you drop you it in, we taking it. Yeah. You play saying, stupid uh, games, you win stupid prizes. There you go. All right, y'all. So that was Let's Pop Off in the DMs. Make sure you head over to Woo-hoo. our IG, Let's Pop Off, and slide in the DMs and ask whatever questions every week we'll go and ask them. All right. Up next is Relation Tricks. Uh-oh. Tricking who? Tricking what? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right. So when you get into a relationship, right, you trust that you are dating the person who they say they are, right? For mm-hmm. sure. You're okay with the small adjustments, the little tweaks here and there. And, you know, it's okay. That's normal, right? To it meet is. someone and adjust them for whatever things you need. But what if after getting in a relationship, you find yourself with a construction hard hat? Because you are basically reconstructing, renovating, flipping a house, okay? (laughs) And you're flipping your partner, basically. (laughs) So are you willing to put a hard hat on in a relationship? Are you you willing to just put the little tweaks and things? Or are you willing to put a hard hat out and do a whole flip a house construction? Come on now. Mm. That's big. Bugatti, what are your thoughts? So... Oh, the reason that this came about was because um, a, a young lady brought a list to a first date. And her list had all of the expectations and the standards that she wanted out of a man, out of a relationship. And the guy was like, baby, it's like you're trying to build a man, not build with a man. And he got up and left and exited the date. He didn't even want to deal with her anymore. And so I got to thinking, like, do we put too much on ourselves when it comes to the what we consider standards? Are we actually creating and distributing and, and, and designing bricks to build a house? And we're not even construction workers. Like, we're not, that's not even what we went to school for. We, we really are here to kind of pour into somebody, right? The puzzle piece. You're looking for a puzzle piece in the world. And you're looking for the puzzle piece that fits your piece, right? So that means that he's going to be missing something here, missing something there, missing something here. But you're going to fill in here, fill in there, fill in here. Which is more so like you are, you know, preserving. You're, you're, you're giving him something and he's giving something to you. I don't know. We're missing that in, in relationships and in businessships and Anything, we're all we're just looking for stuff to just be ready made. Or, you know what? Don't even be ready made. I'm gonna build one up. 
Where? Show me where you building a man at. Because I want to go. You know what? Honestly, like, when I was in my 20s, the whole putting on a hard hat thing was okay. You know what I'm saying? I'll put on a hard hat. I'll rebuild this guy, you know, and let him rebuild me. Like, we're building together. But at this point in my life, I'm not trying to put on a hard hat. I'm not trying to be your therapist. I will be your shoulder. You know, when you have a bad day, I will lift you up like that. I will be a friend. But to say I'm going to put on a hard hat That's big. and like flip this whole person like I'm flipping a house and reconstruction and going to Home Depot to get supplies. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not with it. Because at this point, this is a different time. This is not back in the day. Now there's too much Google there's too many podcasts about every topic under the sun. Sure. So if you really wanted to get help on whatever you got going on, you yeah. should be able to look it up and get help. I should not have to step into your life thinking you're one thing. And then when I get to know you, you're something totally different yeah, yeah. and you're broken as hell. Yeah, not yeah. broke, broken. broken. Yeah. And I have to put on a hard hat so none of the concrete falls on my head when I'm trying to fix you. Yeah. No. I'm straight. That's I'd rather deep. just... Be with my bird at my house watching TV <laughs> alone. I am not with it anymore. I feel like, like people, that is so dead. Yeah. People I'm, I'm need done. to realize, like in relationships, before you get it, sometimes either you or the partner that you're with, y'all need to go talk to the lady. Go seek a therapist. I'm not building you. One, that's something your mama should have did and had you straighten up and flying right. And also, self work is a thing. You can't come to me broken and like fix me. Who am I to fix you? I got my own issues. I, I got my own stuff. I'm talking to the lady myself. And if you can't put in the work, now I'm here to assist you and I'm here to guide you and to support you, but I'm not doing the work. What is this? And now my back blown off for of carrying you and me. And now you want me to be this person. Now I've got Gucci Prada bags underneath my damn eyes my because family. I'm so tired of dealing with you, your issues, your insecurities trying to train you to love me, trying to train you to respect me, trying to train you to be in a partnership. That is not a partnership. That is being a babysitter. You and babysitters you. get paid. You and I'm that. not getting paid for this. If you dropping off the Disney, that ain't it. Mm, you said Philly, back what is blown? My back <laughs> is blown. But carrying you and me, my back <laughs> hurt. I need tiger bum. As long I can't as your do back it. is blown, you can, you can still put it. No, up. no, no, no. Ain't no, ain't no much. Mm -mm. Ain't that much in the world. I can't. Mm -mm. So I, Philly... I know that it works both ways. A, a woman could meet you and have to rebuild you, or you could meet a woman and have to rebuild her. Are you willing to do that when you meet someone? You meet a lot of people, you're in the scene, you're at clubs, you're at parties, and are you willing to do that if you meet someone who needs rebuilding? I am willing.